In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial number 16, we will learn to draw that simple 3D model with the help of 2D drawing. We have different types of views and dimensions which we use to draw that simple 3D model. We will start sketching from that section view which is uh, derived from that front view. First of all, we will see some dimensions uh, from that view. Uh, if we see that the overall dimension, then we know that 50 uh, millimeter dimension uh, is given in, in that view. Along with that, the uh, from that line to that line, the dimension is given in that view, which is 18 millimeter, and the angle is given right here, which is 45 degrees, and the height is given in the form of radius, uh, which is 15 millimeters from here to here the dimension is uh, 15 millimeter along with that the thickness is 5 millimeter only and uh, with the help of these highlighted dimensions we will start sketching in SOLIDWORKS first of all we will generate a new file in part module and start sketching on right plane select a single line and place it vertically and uh, just convert it into construction line again select a, a single line and place it horizontally like that now just uh, uh, select the midpoint of the line and the origin point and assign the coincident relation. Select single line and draw a sketch like that. As we know that the overall height is 15 millimeter and the and that line's length is 5 millimeter and the angle uh, of that line from that line is 45 degrees and the uh, height of that line is 15 millimeter. Now our sketch is uh, fully defined and completed also. Now we will extrude it. For extrude length we can see here the dimension is 65 millimeter is given right here. In uh, Now in SOLIDWORKS uh, we will select extrude boss base option and uh, set the end condition mid plane and we will enter here a value of 65 millimeter and we will accept it now uh, you can uh, see our initial model is ready now in that view uh, we can uh, see a radius of uh, 200 millimeter is applied now we will uh, modify our 3d model with the help of that radius of uh, 200 millimeter for that purpose in uh, solidworks start sketching on uh, top plane and uh, set the view to normal position now just uh, select the three point arc and place it like that means select the outer edges uh, for the start and the end points of the arcs now just select the uh, arc and the edges by pressing the control key and assign a tangent relation along with that uh, apply uh, radius 200 millimeter uh, for that arc with the help of smart dimension which we know that is given in uh, that uh, 2d drawing just select start and end point of the arc by pressing control key and assign a horizontal relation now our sketch is completed and fully defined also now actually we will cut our 3d part uh, from that specific area for that purpose we will choose extrude cut option now you can see uh, its cut direction is in the inside uh, we just have to change its direction uh, by uh, just selecting flip side to cut now you can uh, see the arrow direction is changed means uh, now it will cut the 3d model from the outside now just uh, select the end condition to through all and click on ok 
now you can see uh, our R200 is applied successfully now uh, we will draw uh, that slot for uh, making that slot uh, we have a dimensions of uh, 40 millimeter and uh, 16 millimeter along with that the position of uh, the slot from the top edge is uh, 15 millimeter which is given us in the form of uh, R15 and the slot is placed uh, on the center line also now we will draw a uh, that slot in SOLIDWORKS just start sketching on front plane uh, first of all draw a single line vertically and convert it into construction line select the center slot st center line straight slot and uh, uh, place it like uh, that remember that our slot uh, should horizontal now with the help of smart dimension place a dimension between these two uh, circles now uh, you can see uh, this dimension is from center to center but we want to draw it from uh, edge to edge for that uh, just select the dimension and in the leader select maximum uh, for both first and uh, second R condition and uh, modify here dimension to 40 millimeter as we know that the distance uh, of the slot from uh, top edge is 15 millimeter we uh, know that the slots dia is uh, 16 millimeter now we will apply that diameter in SOLIDWORKS uh, just place a dimension right here of uh, 16 millimeter now you can see your uh, sketch is fully defined uh, you can also see in status bar now we will cut it with the help of uh, extrude cut command uh, select that command and uh, select the uh, through all both option and accept it uh, now you can see right here a cut is created uh, with the help of R15 and a, a line attached for that uh, uh, cut just start sketching uh, on front plane in uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, select a circle and move the cursor uh, on the uh, edge so we can find the center point uh, from that center point just place a circle of uh, radius uh, 15 millimeter and the diameter 30 millimeter now just select single line and uh, start line from that point and uh, place it on the tangent of the circle for making tangent uh, both of the line and the circle just select uh, both of the line and the circle and assign a tangent relation again select the line command and place it uh, like that now with the help of uh, uh, trim command remove the extra curves now you can see our uh, blue line uh, it means uh, the sketch is not fully defined uh, for making it fully defined just uh, uh, select that line and uh, assign a horizontal uh, relation now our sketch is fully defined now just uh, select the extrude cut option and uh, select the through all both uh, through all both option and accept it now you can see our 3d shape is completed from that side now just uh, make it mirror on the other side by selecting extrude cut and the right plane while holding the control key now you can see a, a cut is created uh, right here uh, which uh, depth is uh, 7 mm and uh, it is uh, 12 millimeter wide now we will generate that cut for uh, for that uh, purpose uh, we will start uh, uh, sketching on front plane in SOLIDWORKS 
now just uh, place a center line like that and uh, choose a, a rectangle and uh, place it like that now make symmetric that rectangle with the center line by, by, by pressing control key just uh, uh, place a dimension with the help of uh, smart dimension which we know uh, is 7 mm and uh, 12 millimeter now uh, in that uh, view you can see the cut is 1.5 millimeter offset from that surface and uh, on the other side it is cut throughout the uh, 3d model now we will apply that uh, dimension in SOLIDWORKS uh, now just select extrude cut option and uh, just select offset from uh, surface in direction 1 and uh, uh, select that surface and uh, here enter a value of 1.5 millimeter and for direction 2 select through all and uh, just accept it now you can see our feature is generated successfully in that view the arc is uh, placed right here which, uh, which is 3 mm away uh, from the uh, bottom edge now uh, we will place a, a arc with a 3 mm offset distance uh, with two start and end points now in SOLIDWORKS start sketching on front plane uh, just place a 3 point arc and place it on the uh, on that uh, start and end points now we will uh, choose a single line and place it like uh, that at and convert it into construction line now set the height of uh, that line up to 3 millimeter now you can see uh, our arc is fully defined now just select the extrude cut option and select through all both option now you can see the arrow direction is upward but we want it to downward direction for that just flip the cut direction now you can uh, see 3d model is trimmed from the bottom side successfully now in that same view we can see another cut which is offset from that edge is 2 millimeter along with that uh, from the side it is uh, uh, offset up to 12 millimeter now we will draw that sketch in SOLIDWORKS uh, for that just start sketching on front plane select that edge and uh, make it offset up to uh, 2 millimeter and uh, click OK similarly for that side edge and uh, make it offset up to 12 millimeter also select that edge and make it offset up to 12 millimeter now remove uh, extra lines by using trim command now just uh, uh, select the extrude cut option and uh, make it uh, cut through all both and uh, accept it now that uh, now our shape is completed successfully you can see now if we look at that section view then we know that it's hollow from inside and the hollow thickness is uh, 1.5 millimeter uh, given right here so we uh, select shell command and uh, select that uh, faces one by one by pressing the control key after that enter here the shell thickness of 1.5 millimeter and click OK now you can uh, see hollow formed inside successfully now if we uh, section it then uh, uh, you can see it's uh, also hollow from that area but when we see uh, 2d drawing then we know that this area is not hollow but it is in solid state means that area is solid right here for making it solid simply start sketching on that face and uh, convert it into sketch using convert entity after converting it just select extrude bow space option and for direction select up to surface and select that 
face and accept it now you can see uh, solid formation is uh, completed uh, successfully after that you can uh, see uh, two ribs formed right here uh, which dimensions are 2 millimeter and uh, the thickness is uh, 1.5 millimeter now we will draw that two ribs in SOLIDWORKS now in uh, SOLIDWORKS start sketching on front plane after setting the uh, view to normal position select the wireframe mode now uh, just select the rectangle and place it like that now select the uh, that line and uh, the edge and assign a collinear relation now with the help of uh, smart dimension uh, place a 2 millimeter dimension right here along with that uh, we know that the sketch is fully defined also now we will extrude it for that just select extrude bow space option and uh, in direction 1 select up to surface option and select uh, that surface and for direction 2 select up to surface option and select uh, that face and just accept it now select the uh, feature and uh, select right plane and uh, make it mirror on the other side now you can see our shape is formed successfully now we will place a circle of uh, 5 millimeter which is located in the center of our 3d model now just uh, uh, start sketch on that place and place a circle right here and just uh, place the dimension of 5 millimeter now just uh, uh, cut it throughout of our 3d model with the help of extrude cut option now our hole is created successfully now we will apply uh, fillets uh, which is given uh, in our uh, 2d drawings we know that r2 uh, and uh, r9 and uh, r5 for applying that fillets in SOLIDWORKS just select these edges and apply fillets like that Now you can see our 3D model is uh, completed successfully. I hope you learned a lot from that uh, tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, liking the video. Thanks for watching.